It's the show that sucks with your hosts, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. See the curtains hanging in the window in the evening on a Friday night. A little light is shining through the window. Let me know everything is all right. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Blowing through the jasmine in my mind. With special guests from around the fighting game community. Uh, has commentating hindered your ability to place fourth place at local tournaments? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't say it has. I just suck. I just don't practice anymore. It's not because of the commentary. It's more about just life in general. You know, you turn 30. Just life? And you're like, just you're life. 30? I'm 30. Wow, you should kill yourself. <laughs> now for your hosts, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. Well, I'm uh pretty disappointed because the Giants just lost, so... Didn't they? Yeah, they literally just lost. To who? To the Braves. We beat them four times in a row, so. Come on, so only win so many games. Anyways, welcome to the show that sucks, number 78, with myself, Harrison, my co host, Hanzo Gonzo, who has been filling his mouth full of Baja Blast Mountain Dew for the probably the past. No, okay, this what? is what I've been drinking, and this is what I've been drinking. And then I found these, so I'm pretty stoked about this one. Yeah, there you go, Harrison, you're right. <laughs> Dude, so I went to the Walmart, and I was like, I can't find it anywhere. Like, people were telling me it's there, and I was like, what the fuck, fuck. So I was just buying stuff, and I was in the checkout, I was like, meh. And, like, you know how they had the soda machines? On top of the soda machines, behind shit, they had a bunch of these, so I'm pretty sure they weren't supposed to sell them or something. So I was like, ah, fuck this. And I grabbed, like, hell of them, and the dude in front of me is just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> like, he's like, mm, well. It's not a good choice. I was like, never, man. Dude, but, every other post on the internet right now, whether it's on Imgur, or Twitter, or Facebook, is all about people just drinking that soda. Fuck, shit. Yeah, I like It's like Jesus came back for all the people that love Mountain Dew in the form of Baja Blast. The thing is, it's not new. <laughs> it's been around for 10 years. It's just you have to go to Taco Bell. Nobody or that one flavor. To, nobody wants to go to Taco Bell. No one wants to go to Taco Bell. Okay, guys, I'm not fucking 15 anymore. Like, let's be real. Um, yeah, I just took shots at Taco Bell. It's really easy to do, though. I don't know we're reveling in it. Hey, Harrison, let's go. How's <laughs> here? We... I guess before we jump into things, obviously you guys can see on top of your screen, uh, the next tournament is Whammy Dojo number 12. Uh, it's Monday. Yeah. What? Can't I can't see it. See it. Well, we, well, they can see it. That's all that matters. I know, but now I'm in the blind. Oh, look. Okay. But yes, the That's next cool. Wyoming Doja tournament, number 12, is Monday. We'll be starting right after Super Desperation Radio. So make sure you guys tune into that and then tune into Wyoming Dojo. And hopefully we'll be able to stream it this time and the internet doesn't suck ass. Um, I guess something else before we get into uh, more about the tournaments and everything that happened over the weekend. Uh... Xbox One is coming out without Connect, which means it's only going to be three ninety nine. Do you think people are going to play Killer Instinct now? I still don't give a flying fuck, but um, if you really, really were on the fence about Killer Instinct, and people do enjoy Killer Instinct, don't get me wrong, just because people, you know, like me, do not enjoy playing the game, uh, people do enjoy it, and there are there is a scene for it. So if you were on the fence. Makes it a little easier to get it. Maybe makes it a little easier to get it as a gift. Maybe I don't know. For the kids. That's true. Yeah. You know, think about it. Like easier. That. It's easier to get now. So like, say you put two hundred. Your friend puts two hundred. You know. Well, now it's just that extra hundred that you'd have to spend on the connect can now go to a fight stick or. Yeah. Another game or two that you would want, even though there's only like four games. But I think that's more the reason why I don't really care right yet. To getting one is because no games, so I will not care into that game that I personally have seen has come out. I'm talking about Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Now I've seen the game; it's coming out by Xbox One. A year and a half or so. It's very good. Next gen graphics. 
You can use the DDR pad. Eddie Gordo's in the game. Are you going anywhere with this, or? Uh... No, I'm just saying things, man. <laughs> How long have you known me? <laughs> I guess you never go anywhere with anything. I know. Your claim to fame is Hanzo stories that never end up going anywhere. So I guess. You do I guess go places. I... There's places you don't want them to go. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys didn't catch any of the I Feel the Winter action this weekend, we had Fight or M Fight for Might number two. I always get that mixed up. Fight I for Might two. What? I caught a little bit of. Caught uh, a little bit of it. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was fine. There was no like you know crazy people there or anything. There was just a small bracket, but it was a lot of fun. The venue was super sick. You can. Obviously, we were showing all you guys on the stream all of the different games that they have there. They have every single system ever made, I believe, there. Really? Do they have... There's there's one system I had that's really rare, I think. I think it's the it's a 3D system, but it's really old. It's an old 3D video game system. I don't know what uh -huh. it's called. But we've had it, and we were like the fuck are we supposed to play this so we got the glasses You're like oh this is shit and then, like we threw it away um i don't know they probably have it they probably do but they, anyways they have rows and rows walls and walls of video games from everything from sega cd to original nintendo sega genesis you know original sega like everything for the most part and you can go there and just play any game you can just pull any game off the wall and start playing it so that's fucking legit as shit. Yeah. It's a video game museum for those who don't know about it. Uh, what we're talking about. And they held the Fight for Might event. And uh, yeah. It's called The Maid. You can go to themaid.com, I believe. That sounds cool. That's a cool venue. I mean, the other one we went to in Mission was also cool. They had a bunch of artwork up and stuff. And one they of had, the games like, had an encyclopedia that came with it. Straight up? Just straight up an encyclopedia. <laughs> And you had to read the encyclopedia in order to learn how to play the game. Damn. Yeah. That's some yeah. board game shit. Yeah. But yeah. That reminds me of one of those magazine games where you play the board game, you get the magazine, you get to read the magazine, you get the piece, or like get a clue from the magazine to finish the board game or whatever. Those are, those are really old. But aside uh, from all of the, the old school games, we had... Ultimate War vs. Capcom 3, and Super Street Fighter 4 tournaments there. I actually won Super Street Fighter 4, and KBs ended up winning Ultimate War vs. Capcom 3. And you guys can check out all the final videos up. I think Marvel's up now. Street Fighter will be up tomorrow. And then I'll also throw up the, you know, the bracket play up there too. Uh, but more importantly, Alpha Clash number 12 was ridiculous. <laughs> So I watched, like, not a lot because I was tired and I went to bed uh, because it was after the ECT stuff. I did watch yeah. some of that. But um, Zach Bennett did not enter from what I hear. I was really angry because I was hoping for that CPM, but yeah, he didn't enter. And I basically went up to Vineeth and said, what the fuck? He didn't enter. And then he was mad too. So, And it was but... too late to get him on. Street Fighter took too long and... It, it was 1 o'clock by the time Street Fighter was over, and I wanted to pack up and everything. And I'm pretty sure he was already gone. So, Unfortunately, reason, nobody got to see Firebrand versus Firebrand on stream, which kind of sucks. The reason he didn't enter was because, uh, from I hear, he hasn't been practicing lately, and he doesn't want to play. And then get, like, nobody has been up. practicing. It's he doesn't want to get blown excuse. up, though. If he gets blown up by Vanith, that's a blow up, okay? Cause Do you know Zach how Bennett badly Vanith wanted to play him? Zach Bennett invented the fucking Firebrand neutral. That's all. Anything you see Firebrand, that's probably Zach Bennett. He invented it all. So when, you know, that kind of caliber of player playing the new best Firebrand, people want to see that. They want to be like, ooh, what's it? So if you're, you want to save face, you know, he's sponsored too. You can't just be losing, just being shitty. He's not American. He just doesn't like, like those EG guys and they just lose. And you're like, man, whatever. Man. No. Yeah, Nami. Yes. But uh, but he's coming to Evo, so. Is he? I forgot I, I didn't so. ask him. I believe so. That's cool. So he should be showing up for that. Everybody's yeah. going to love Firebrand even more now. 
No. No. I mean, as a Marvel player, you don't, but as somebody who doesn't play Marvel, yeah. Yeah. And then... Wait to just kill that, then. yeah. Uh, well, I didn't hear the last part, so I don't want to be like, can you repeat that? So I just started nodding. Because <laughs> I was like looking at the chat, and I was just like... But, I don't you know, want to be awkward, I just wanted you to move on. And I didn't want to have to explain it like this. But now I did. I like how I'm looking at you. But we only like... streamed a little bit of Marvel, just because for the majority... Majority? For the most part, it was the same people, and the same turnout, and the same... Same everything, so he kind of just streamed top four and then focused more on A, which was, I think, ridiculous. LPN lost first round, which kind of... Oh. LPN lost first round, and then Marcos and Julio had to play second round. And then, basically, those two things just caused a chain reaction to create the most crazy Alpha Clash bracket yet, in my opinion. And if you guys haven't seen it, it was... Uh, Kimo, aka Dirty Paws, who plays a con, and Filipino Champ as Dulcim and Grand Finals. And it was the most back and forth, ridiculous Grand Finals in a really long time, I think. Kimo's always hype. I like watching him play. And they Sorry. were both doing a good job of evolving and punishing certain things, adapting and everything. It was just like a really, really good Grand Finals to watch. Who ended up taking it? Chemo. Do you want us? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was chemo. And it was... I almost didn't want to spoil it just because it totally didn't look like that at all. Chemo <laughs> won three straight after the oh. bracket reset. Uh, He was down 2-0, and then he came back 3-0 to beat F-Champ. And the reset of the grand finals. So, Champ kind of bodied him, and then he was bodying him more. And then he just figured it out and then just came all the way back. So that was ridiculous. That's up, of course, on youtube.com slash iPlayWinner. It's on the front page. You guys can go check that out. Uh, cool. I think that's that's it for the... Uh... You need to send that to Ultra, dude. Yeah, you'll probably like cream his pants or something. He's probably already watched <laughs> I was about to say that. The <laughs> <laughs> like exact statement. Um, that's all he does. He just jerks off in his office all day. Mind you, David. No, that's what you do. I'm probably not even like that far off too, which is the sad part. I'll see you jerking off in his office. Oh no! He, he probably saw that tweet that I did on iPhone. I was like, uh, "Hakan in Grand Finals." What? He probably saw that and just like, "Oh my god!" Just stop whatever he's <laughs> doing and then just turn on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> just went back to his day. But thanks for everybody who watched that, stuck through it all. I know the stream is all kind of weird, but once we got it figured out, it was good to go. Uh, I think that's it <laughs> for West Coast stuff. What about what about future events? Future so events? If, do we have anything this weekend that you did? Or uh, I mean, why me dojo? That that's it. Is it okay? I'm pretty Let's sure. Make sure you stream like five things every week here. So I don't know. I know. I I've kind of been all over the place lately. Uh. I thought there was going to be another tournament this weekend, but it turned out like it didn't happen. So, uh, But it should be this, and then I might be streaming something two weeks after that, but I'll let you guys know, obviously. Uh, Are you going to stream family? Just stream family. No. Nobody's paying me to do that, so I'm not it's streaming so anyway. It's so fun, though. I'm not No. So it's I'm so really far away. Nobody's paying for my room. And there's so, so many homestuck people there. I love it. Love it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. Um, I would, but anyways. it's just not worth me going out there. Dude, I understand. Right now. Fuck. <laughs> um, so, is that it? Is that? I think I think that's it. Uh, do you want to talk about ECD? Or do you have anything else? I have one question. I don't know. Maybe somebody can answer me. I know Sammy Nash is watching. Sammy Fish is watching this right now. Uh, so basically, like, before, uh, because this is like Blow Up Tuesday, right? So basically, before SCR, they said, hey, we're increasing the subscriber to $4.99. It's no longer going to be $2.99. And is it still, it's still like $2.99. So, like, I don't know. I just, 
For I just what think the that's fuck weird. you talking about? For level, level up? up? For level up? Okay. For the Switch? For subbing? I, okay. I, I'm just I'm just curious because to me, if like if they just lied to everybody trying to get more subs by saying it's gonna be 4.99, that's Twitch like said, Twitch said it was gonna be that though. I know, but, but so maybe somebody can just ask like answer me that. Maybe the Twitch was like, oh, you know what? We're just we'll let you guys keep 2.99 or something like that. Like I'm just legitimately curious about that. It's a good question, I guess. Um, no one in the chat could answer that because Twitch employees hate us, so um, they're probably not watching. Uh, speaking of Twitch employees, Mike Ross is now one. Oh, that's yeah, cool. that's right. The struggle. Uh, the struggle is now over. <laughs> now the struggle in the esports. Now the struggle real. working for Twitch begins. Yeah. Dude, that guy gets massages every week now. Twitch gets massages, if you guys didn't know that, every week. Fucking tech startup motherfuckers. They're weird things. Hey man, Mike Ross um, needs all the help he can get right now. He's probably super huh? stressed out. I said Mike Ross needs all the help he can get right now. I know. He needs to, he needs to relax. <laughs> he's been in the struggle. He's been in the grind. I mean, he has to like he has to like do videos to Gutex. I mean, then I'm sure that can take a lot of people. <laughs> do you think he'll continue to do that? Do you think no. he'll continue, Axel? <laughs> no. I can't imagine him doing that. I can't imagine him doing that. Yeah, I don't think he'll do it either. Because well, he'll have to if move he moves up. up here, right? Yeah, he'll have to move up here. Gutex, Gutex doesn't need my cross. Gutex can do solo stuff. Excellent adventures with Gutex. It's just him. He crying. did it for a while. It did didn't he? get nearly as many views, but it's just him playing online while crying with a picture of my cross just torn up. No, I remember <laughs> he played played Search Strike and stuff. <sighs> well, he was with Maximilian, the fucking CPM. No, he wasn't. Fucking... Just him. Oh, he just did all just, just, just one. I remember he did all Maximilian with Maximilian. He should have done more of that. Yeah, should have. Just include Max. Just throw his dog in there. Just fucking make a fucking dog cam. Just put it in the side. People will just be like, uh, money. <laughs> just throw money. Okay. There's one guy I love. I like Maximilian a lot, by the way. I don't mean to make fun. Well, yeah, he's a super cool guy. Lot. I've but... only like really talked to him once ever, but. I like Maximilian a lot, but his fans are just so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but he retweeted one, and it was like this dude in a straight like '90s get up with like the Max like Yo video game shirt on, and like he's like skateboarding, and he looked really stupid. He's probably like a really big fan <laughs> of the show, and I'm like making fun of him. But I laughed at that. I don't want to. I'm sure he gets. Like, I like your response. That he looked really stupid. Oh it's, my god. I'm sure some PF other people saw it. Jeez. Maybe I'm just like a cold hearted person. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of Tuesday. It is full of Tuesday. <laughs> Blowing everybody up. Oh boy. Speaking of blowing um, people up. Just Max. Do you want to do it? No. Uh, I think you should. Eh. You do it. So, so ECT was this weekend. I like how this is so hot. We don't even want to blow it up. ECT was this weekend, and there's been a lot of controversy in regards to the bracket uh, being altered in top 32 and being floated for Justin Long and Ricky Ortiz. So, we have information, I guess, from the inside. We're not going to reveal our sources. That basically state, uh, prior like not the what the public statement right now is, To saw that they were together, they switched them, you know, players didn't really know, whatever. From what we have, our sources, our sources, on the inside said that Ricky Ortiz actually asked K Brad if it was okay for this. Um, alleged move to be made and then K Brad told Rick Ortiz to ask Joe, L I Joe, and I guess that's what happened and then they were moved. So the players knew full well that the change was being made and the TO complied with their wish. Which is a lot different than the public statement that they've been saying as in like, yeah, we moved it. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Like which is 
not uncharacteristic to ECT because ECT has floated people before. If you guys remember, I mean, I they no one ever mentioned it, but Fanatic. The whole fanatic when he won that thing, that was a floated back bracket. There were certain people that were moved. And it was floated. Like I'm I don't know people didn't really care back then, but it was. Like it's not new that East Coast tournaments are doing this. And that's not to say West Coast tournaments don't do this as well. There's probably some evidence of, you know, past tournaments doing it as well. Special achievement for top players. It happens. But I just feel like it's a problem. It's a problem, the fact that people do, don't, like, they care, but nothing's going to really happen to the event. ECT, the next ECT is going to go. People I are going to go to it. They're going to get sponsors. No one's going to fucking care. That's the problem. No one fucking actually cares. No one cares enough to, to make a statement. And it's not that no one cares. It's the, like, the wrong people care. Like, if all the stream monsters care, what the fuck are you guys going to do about it? Like, really? You're going to fucking boycott watching an event? Okay, well, no, you're not. Here's you have the fucking thing. nothing else to do. We've been wanting, I guess, I guess we. People have been wanting so long to, like, I guess be taken seriously. I don't know what the correct term is, but, like, grow, right? This is not helping that. It, it may, they may get the same amount of people next year. They may get the same amount of viewers next year, which was... Not as much as Northwest Majors, so in my opinion. But does that does that matter for the tournament if they don't give viewers? Maybe for their sponsors, but like, do they fucking care? They're already making money off of it via you know all the shit. You know, pass once they, you know, pass their fucking venue rental costs. It's not that much they have to pay for. You know, they're this is a business and they're making money. Usually, um, it's just like this shit is just like continuously helping us not go anywhere. I know it's 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 frustrating because yeah you have a good point nobody gives a shit right no one cares enough it's not that the no one cares top it, players don't, don't care because they're benefiting from it top players don't care because they're benefiting <laughs> and you know it's really to the detriment they're like children in that they don't see the fucking future they're just like now I want this now uh now 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 and like you're just destroying your future gradually and it's been like that since like 2000. Fucking two, probably. Which, uh, well, that's kind of weird saying that. Like, hey, it's, uh, you know, they don't see the future, right? Well, the fucking people that were involved are Justin and Ricky, who have been around so, so fucking long, longer than anybody else, or just as long as anybody else in the fighting game scene. So, if anybody can see the future, it's fucking going to be those people, right? And if they can't see the future, then we're all fucked. Like, that's basically it. If those people don't care, then why the fuck should anybody else care? That's the problem. Why should? Why should? I couldn't find a legitimate reason to want to further the fucking FGC after this shit. Like, what's the reason? What's the reason behind it? So pe- so shitheads can get money? So fucking scumbags can get more money? Why the fuck would I want to help them? They don't take responsibility for themselves. They don't take responsibility for others. Why the fuck am I... Why would I spend my effort and time helping them you know it's in their interest too if they were just be like normal people and not do shady shit it's not hard just go to your fucking little tournament and press the fucking buttons it's not fucking rocket science it's not but apparently don't be a shithead but you're just gonna continue and people are just gonna start dropping off and then you're just gonna be fucking 30 32 years old fucking at no job and you're going to be like, well, fuck, well, what did I waste my life on? You know? You're going to be like fucking Sanford. You know? You're going to be fucked. It's not fucking cool to be like making $8 an hour when you're fucking 30s. I, I, uh, hopefully that day doesn't come. I would, that'd be sad. Let's be real, man. This is real fucking life. It's just so frustrating. <laughs> so it seems like this happens every week, and everybody like blows it up, and then nobody gives a shit. It's just every fucking week. It was the same shit that happened with CEO, with Ryan and uh, Ryan and Neo. They that was to... uh, that was final round. Oh, it was final round. Final round. Same thing happened in final round. Yeah, got floated. So 
Nobody gave a shit. Ultra Dave blew him up. Nobody still gave a shit. And then that was the end of it. And then it happened again like a month and a half later. And nobody cares. That's why I never support giving players more money. That's why people are like, let's increase pod bonuses and stuff. I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't fucking give players money. Do not sponsor players. Do not give them money. Because they, they've proven that they're not trustworthy with it. Because you give them shit, then they just want more shit, and they'll fuck every, everyone over just to get it. They're like little fucking gremlins. If you have like, any questions, just... you can send them to Ad Harrison SBA and Ad Hansa Gonzo. I think the one thing that most people are forgetting about all of this is that while it might not be a Capcom Pro Cup Pro tournament or whatever it is, where they still sponsored it, right? Yeah. It was still a Capcom Pro Tour. Hey, give I don't know. Did they give money? They did. It was for points. I know that. Well, okay, it's for points, right? Well, is your fucking tournament gonna be a Capcom Pro event next year? No, it's no. not. And you know, some of those TOs work at other tournaments. You know, they're involved with other shit, and I mean, it just taints you know other people's shit too. You know, some people are trying to actually do like do it right and be you know fair and balanced or where the fuck. And they're just making bad names for everyone. Like, I don't want to call all TOs out, but it's a fucking majority of them. Like, I'm, I'm going to be real. Like, a lot of the TOs do stupid shit, and no one cares. A lot of them. Yep. And I like them. I like them personally. I like a lot of people, but they're just fucking dumb. And they do shit that is counterproductive, and it hurts other people. And they don't realize it. And then it just fucks everything else up too. Cause like then it's and the crazy thing is the person that got floated fucking won the tournament. So how does that look? It would be one thing, you know, if you got floated. Actually, it would have been really lucky for the people that ran the tournament is if he lost, even though he got floated, because now it's a bigger deal. Cause now the person that got floated fucking won the whole tournament. So now it just makes everybody look exponentially more worse. Because now it looks like they just gave them the tournament. Yeah. And, you know, it's just dumb. Like, there's not, there's not, there's not anything people could do besides speak out by, by it and just, like, try and get it through people's fucking skulls. But not a lot of people are doing it. And it's very frustrating to see. And I see, like, fucking Twitter people. Like James Chen and Ultra David and all these other people are going like, okay, guys, it happened. It sucks. Let's move on and then not have it again in the future. It's going to happen again in the future. It's not, that's the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. It'll just be like, oh, you did. You fucking murdered that person? Okay, well, I mean, we'll learn from it. Now you know not to do it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's not how you respond to shit. It's not. There's no law. There's no, like, rules governing anything. So people are just gonna do the shit, and until that happens, like until there's a there's a fucking rule set, or you know players are actually become responsible, or anything is done, it's gonna happen again. Every every year is just gonna be more bullshit, bullshit, bullshit until fucking everyone leaves. Like it's gonna die. People don't realize that. <clears throat> like the shit can die. It's died before. And it died for a long time, I believe, but. And to think another another Street Fighter 4-ish type game is going to come and save the day, it's not. At this point, it's not. We just I, I feel like we just have to work with what we have at, at this point. Street Fighter 5 isn't coming out to save our asses for an extra... for another six years, so... And, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and... It's just, it's really bad. I'm just disappointed. I feel like. I'm just disappointed in the majority, and not like to say stream monsters. I'm talking about everyone, all you fucking top players, all you little fucking personalities, all you little fucking mod, where the fuck you are in the community. You know, if you're the guy who stands in the fucking corner and goes in the bathroom, and jerks off at events, you know, you fucking no one does anything about it. No one talks out against it. It's all just accepted. And people are like, oh, that's that's bad. Let's continue to fucking do it. It's just like it's it's so childish and crazy, and you're driving people away. 
You know, how long do you think I'm gonna put up with shit like this? If if I if I'm if I'm a player and I have other people being floated, when I all I all I really want to do is fucking make a top eight in my fucking life. That's all I really want to fucking do as a player, and I can't do that because I fucking suck. And I realize that, and that's okay. But other people are getting breaks, and you know that don't need it. And how does that think? How do you think that makes me feel as a fucking person who just wants to get top eight once? You know, it makes you feel shit. It makes me feel mad because other people are getting breaks. I'm not getting, you know, it's fucking bullshit. And it's not like a personal vendetta. It's just that there are other players out there trying just as hard. You know, that's why I don't like the whole fucking Evo 2 or 3, 3 to 5. I'm going to harp on it more because I'm not fucking over it. Other people got benefited while other people got fucked over, you know? <laughs> Do you know what Zach Bennett was talking about at Alpha Clash 2 or 3? Probably the same thing because he got hulked three. over. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He it's was still pissed stupid. about it. You know, he, perfect example, he fucking flew from Britain to go to Las Vegas to play fucking video games and was fucking fucked over because of the stupidest, you know, change ever. Which is dumb, and everyone does it. And it's, I'm never going to go to that tournament now. Not like, I mean, I guess they don't care, right? But... I'm sure there's people out there that are like me, like, hey, that looks like a fun tournament to go to. Oh, they just float people? All right, well, I guess I'm not going to that tournament. I don't know. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> it is fucking It dumb. sucks. Let's just move on. Come on. It'll fucking it's happen fucking again. Dumb. I'm sure it'll happen at some tournament again before EVO. It is, probably. CEO Speaking of EVO, it's only, it's only like and it's only two or... months away. It is. I got my flight. You got your flight? Yeah, I'm going to go to Vegas and hang myself in the fucking ballroom. It's going to be great. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if I just kill myself on fucking stage? Please don't. I would. That would be funny <laughs> to me. Because I'd be dead. So, I mean... <laughs> Anyways, okay, the results... All right. I think Hanzo has had enough depressing talk for the day. Ricky Ortiz won and Zeus. Yeah, and say we got third. So, you know, floating benefits some... Who fucking gives a shit? I don't even care about that some tournament money. anymore. Moon's got third in Marvel. That's cool. I will talk about the exhibition uh, between... Um, I just fucking forgot his name. Coach Steve. I don't know his actual tag. I just forgot it. Coach Steve versus uh, Flux. Was it good um, or something? It was very good, actually. I was very okay. impressed All with right. uh, Coach Steve. I know his name, but I just totally forgot his handle. Oh, wow. Uh, was really close. 14 to 15? Damn. Yeah, it was a very good set. And I thought Coach Steve actually did way better than... Um, insane is his name. I'm sorry. Um, did way better than you know I would imagine he did. And he was a very... He did very good things, and his execution was on point. And he was doing... You know, battling a very tough matchup, and he was playing it very correctly and it was uh it was quite fun to watch him this weekend he really improved probably one of the most improved players on the scopes he's very good so i i hope to see him at other tournaments because he's uh definitely a fun player to watch uh same with um what's his name i believe it's punisher i like watching punisher a lot i don't know if he did very well but uh i like watching that guy too he plays hawkeye so Gotta talk a little louder. Sorry. He played high eye. God. You're just all depressed, I know. And Lord and I ran it in one blaze blue. Is that it? You don't even care about anything else. I don't even care about the tournament anymore. Like, after hearing that shit, it's like, what's the point? It's just fucking dumb. Like, it's just... Why? Why I don't do even, that? I don't even care about the people that need to even enter that tournament. Like, it's like what the fuck? It just ruins it for everybody else. Oh, my mic's going haywire because I keep moving. I'm sorry, guys. Um, Should we go to questions? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I have to do it. Sorry. I have to do what? Read the fucking questions. Oh my Ames. god. Sammy Nash asks, 
Although it's not perfect, how do you feel about using SRK's rankings to seed tournaments for standardization? Um, I think I wrote an article about it uh, where there would be a database and you would seed via that. If, if There's no problem with doing that if they include all the tournaments and they weighted them like something that makes sense because their current weights do not make sense i have way too many points let me just i'll just be the fucking sacrificial lamb like i don't know how um hotocons are considered international events but i have a lot of points from just like placing at hotocons in the past yeah and so do i like, that's fucking great like it's whatever like i i guess i'm like high up on the list because of it but like i don't place anywhere and so i have a lot of lists so they i think the the scheme is a little fucked up on that thing because i have way too many points to be honest i shouldn't even be in the top 200 like let's be real um so it, if it got fixed or tweaked i mean sure but you i think you would need one year of the capcom pro tour tournaments and then after that Maybe go off. Yeah, we'll have a better understanding of what all of this is for, obviously, next year. Yeah, I think I think starting from the first Capcom Pro Tour is where you should start seeding shit. And cut off everything before that. So everything before that is like, didn't fucking exist. Fuck you. And then we just go through that. Because seeding does have to be timely. Like, you can't just fucking seed for getting, you know, oh, I got first at this tournament three years ago in vanilla. Like, no one fucking cares. Like, yeah. It's what you did now. What you're doing should see. Dude. That's why you really How need people who know the game see these brackets too. That's in my yeah. opinion. You just need to. I don't just fucking. I don't know. Pay somebody. I know it's a ridiculous notion paying somebody money to do something, but. Well, I mean, I can't speak for other areas, but NorCal typically has Falconist see the brackets, and Falconist is very good at it because he knows everyone, and he knows like how good they are relative. To other people, and he's very good at seeding tournaments, and he does good jobs. And I look at the brackets, I'm like, yeah, these are good brackets. You know, he doesn't like give people like preferential treatment. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, Falconist could suplex everyone. He doesn't care. Uh, Danny asks, is getting a PS4 the better version of XRD worth it? Probably not. Um, I don't know. Another thing about the FGC that I particularly don't care for is people destroying their own game um and there's there's a there's a fine line between between being truthfully you know upset at something and then just bashing your own game for no reason so xrd is falling in that category i see so much negative shit about that game from guilty gear players and it's very unsettling for me wanting to get into guilty gear more to have guilty gear players saying shit about this but like if they want their scene to grow, they need to shut the fuck up or like discuss, you know, discuss it better. Because I just see trash talking about the game. So and for the most part, I, I mean, fighting games game. grow because of word of mouth. Yeah, it might fucking um, XRD might fucking be dead because I see all this negative shit about YRCs and all that bullshit. And you know, it might be true, but you're killing your scene. Like you have to realize that. So it, getting a PS4 for it, probably I don't know if you should invest in it. It's the same thing I feel like is killer instinct for me. Hey, that might be cool to have it, but I still want two or three other games that I'd be willing to buy first. Just justifying spending I, that much money on a system is just yeah. ridiculous. Well, for one game, it's just too much. Unless you really feel like you need to have it. Which I can totally see some people doing that. Uh, DK, DKI FGCS Ultra is around the corner do you have any interest in rocking the top tier before they get nerfed for fun Uh, I mean I'm going to play T-Hawk T-Hawk's supposed to be good I was watching some Japanese T-Hawk randomly and uh, he looks very fun he looks very cool he looks and... stupid broken but yeah he, he was doing <laughs> um, he was doing jab into jab uh, I don't know what it's called Condor Spire. Fire, yeah, and it was like a fucking block string. <laughs> he was like, blah, blah, blah. And, and like the guy chip, was like, yeah. ah. and then like he just throws him in the middle of it, and just like, what are you gonna do? There's so much pressure. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna play Seahawk. 
I don't like, know cross about up anybody dive. else. Sorry. I don't think anybody else is going to be like secret top tier. I think all the tier list is... I wouldn't listen to any of the tier list right now because there's different versions floating around and Some of them are really I have heard that the version they're playing is not the last version. So yeah, I'm just going to hold off until Evo sadly, which is the worst fucking time that I should be waiting to wait for anything to happen is at Evo. I should have the game three months before that, but whatever. We won't find out for sure until the game is released is on console. Out? What? When's it coming out? June. We don't know. Oh. I don't know if there's an official up. release date or something. Maybe somebody could tweet That's it at us, month. but what? That's next month, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, and then Evo is next month after that, so... It's plenty of time. No, it's fucking not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. At all. It's plenty of time to find the broken shit, keep it to yourself, and blow it up. That's what I'm talking about. I want to yes. see that shit. That's going to be hype, though. That's going to be some shit. I'm excited for that. Someone's just going to find, like, a fucking box string infinite with fucking guile and just, like, destroy people. I don't know what this question is saying, I guess. Since the Mountain Dew Corporation has lifted the 10-year monopoly on Baja Blast, how will the FGC respond? And it is get diabetes. That is, that that's how the FGC is going to respond to that question. How many years do I get diabetes here? I'm surprised you don't have it already. No, my blood pressure is all. I mean, uh, everything's good for me. I do get checked out. Here. Just just one day, you're just going to wake up and just not be. You're just going to weigh 500 pounds. The fact that I lasted this long is a testament to the human body. You're only <laughs> 21 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've lasted this long. Fuck, you still got like 50 more years. Biologically, you. I'm probably like 80, dude. Like, let's be real. Like... <laughs> All right, we got a question from big fan of the show, Drew Red Mage. Drew Red Mage asks, while helping out, while helping at events, have you ever run brackets before? And if so, have players ever asked you for a match change? Yes uh, and yes. Yes and yes. Uh, oh. Usually, I see Tree Fighter at my Lost in Space tournaments when I did them. Um, and I, I don't think anybody ever asked me, but did anybody ever ask you? I don't know what tournaments you ran. Um, I, I've, I've been asked before, but usually at Starbase tournaments, people would only ask if they literally fucking drove up with the person. Yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. From like San Jose or, you know, and they're like, can I like not play my fucking training partner and be like, yeah. Okay, it's whatever. never it's never in like, hey, we're three rounds in, can you switch me? It's never any of that. I've never had that before. No, I've had I mean, people come I... out and say, hey, like, yeah, exactly what Hanzo just said. This is my friend. We're playing first round. Can you guys switch us? And we'll be like, yeah, you know, that's fine. And those are legitimate. Like, at the start of a tournament, yes, you can, yep. you know, ask for a change and you have to have a reason for it. But your reason is, hey, I'm playing my fucking brother second round, you know, at this 300 man tournament can i not do that it's probably be like yeah it's probably you know good idea it's pretty easy to put somebody at the end of the bracket yeah just switch it's like, Ooh. Uh, and you might have to play somebody that's you know good yeah. i guess but usually people who ask to get switched for something like that don't typically care they just, they just don't want to they just want to play somebody else that's not yeah their teammate basically or their friend or their brother or sister or whatever uh let me read this question i gotta i always gotta read these tweets before i give it the a-okay i don't uh a quick thing uh jared mage also asked what do you think of team Walker just not giving a fucking it's final match i think it's fucking dumb i like e hug a lot jiggle Billy, jiggle billy is really cool and he got banned from twitch which makes him really cool um but uh, I think it's dumb because I like e a lot. So fuck Team Liquid. Fuck you. That's it. I'm uh, I'm having a real hard time understanding these questions of Boy Named Rio. I've read it like four times and I still don't understand it. Am I included? No, you're not included, unfortunately. Well, okay. Uh, I'll read another one. Yeah, read another one, please. 
Floating back is bad. What could I do as a stream monster? Speaking out via social media can only do so much. Um, just, I don't know. If you're really outraged by it, you can email the fucking sponsors that sponsor the event. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Like, I, I as a person, do not know what to do. That's the, the predicament we're in. If I, as a fucking quote-unquote personality, don't know what the fuck to do, then I don't know why. I don't expect you guys to do anything about it. I'm talking about people directly involved, or you know, people who actually have power in the scene. Um, but I don't know. You can write the sponsors. You can argue with people online. I really don't know. Like, I'm sorry. So don't I think. The event. I think what a boy named Rio was saying is that, for the most part, we only we care about people who don't care, who only care about themselves, which is like. I guess sort of true. I don't know. I, right now, I mean, everybody kind of cares about themselves, to be honest. Nobody, nobody nobody, sees the big picture, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, Drew Red Mage asks, what is all that stuff on your bed? Uh, that me or you? That's me. Because there's quite a lot of hang on my bed right now, and it's all food. Uh, it's all Settlers of Catan games. Oh, uh, you have all your Settlers? Yeah. Oh, it's all you, Settlers. Settlers games. It's, uh... Fucking nerd. Everybody's like, wow, you're... F wow, it's fucking nerd. Uh, so basically, I have... <laughs> I can't see it either. You can't I'm see it? On, I'll turn on the stream. I'll have... I have the, uh... If you guys are listening to this on the MP3, you guys can go to YouTube. Holy fuck, you have so many. Uh, so this is the original game. Uh, this is the original game where it's the expansion for five to six people. Uh, this is... Uh, whoops, just fell on the floor. This is the expansion for uh, the four, three to four people game uh, that has boats and other shit. And then this is another expansion for the three to four person game. And this one has... Uh, fish and all this other crazy shit, and then uh, the one that fell on the floor is actually the four to six person, five to six person expansion for the Seafarers expansion. So it's an expansion of an expansion. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, that's really that's enjoy that game, it. man. <laughs> uh... If Marvel had expansion packs, I'd buy them. <laughs> just when I say expansion of an expansion, I just feel like a nerd. I know. All right. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. We got a good question right here. Uh, Kyle asks, if Capcom does decide to do something to punish the floating at F or ECT, what would you deem appropriate? Strip them of... <laughs> what? Like, the dick thing to do if you're a Capcom, be like, hey, you can't stream Street Fighter anymore, bye. But, um... Yeah, I think dude, people yeah. really forget about that. That's why I tweeted the other day, and somebody was like, uh... I tweeted the other day to Capcom Fighters, one of my content ID things got... Or one of my videos got content ID'd, and usually they're really fast about getting rid of the content ID, and they were, and I said thank you for getting rid of... Thank you for being so fast on getting rid of these content IDs. Because especially when it's Grand Finals or something, it was Grand Finals for Fight for Might 2. And so if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be able to post it up tomorrow. I'd be screwed. And then the longer you wait, the just less and less relevant it becomes. So it's really important to get those kind of videos up. So I don't know. I'm really glad to for them to get rid of it that quickly. And when you say, yeah, just not have them stream Street Fighter, they could easily do that. They can just snap their fingers and you would just not be able to stream Street Fighter anymore. It would cause a lot of controversy, but I mean, they could just do it. But again, mm -hmm. nobody gives a shit, so I don't think anybody would care. So maybe Capcom should do that. It'd be funny. I would laugh. And, you know, it would be funny to see some action by Capcom. Uh... I don't think, I don't think they'll do anything about it necessarily, but I think next year they probably will not include ECT as a Capcom Pro Tour event. But I might be 
totally wrong and they'll totally just continue supporting it. I don't know. Uh, before we get to the next question, somebody asked in chat, what is floating? I guess we should clarify what is floating like really quickly. It's it's pretty simple. It's when uh, two people got to play each other and they don't want to play each other and they asked to get moved. Not in the beginning of the bracket, but basically they were going to play in winner's top 16 and they asked to get moved. And they did get moved. And that's what you call floating. Top 16 winners. It's so they don't play... about fucking playing a top 16 winners. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Yep. Ag your head Midge asks, Don't die, Hanzo. Why is Nova such a good point character? And does he really need a beam assist? Uh, Nova is very good because he has very large buttons. And his neutral is very brain dead. And his throw game is redonkulous. And he has good movement. Uh, and he synergizes really well with a lot of people. Um, uh, does he need a beam assist? Mm, yeah, he needs something to control his horizontal space so he can block dash him easier, in my opinion. Uh, he really does. Any horizontal, it doesn't have to be a beam. But any horizontal, he definitely doesn't need. Uh, in regards to another assist for him, it really anything to do with combos he really needs. He doesn't need to extend his combos, and preferably anything that lets him raw tag. Spencer is the most obvious choice, but there are other ones that you can raw tag off of. But yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. Man, a boy named Rio is just not happy right now. He's just like all down in life. He's like you right now. He's like, oh. when are people going to realize, when are people realize FGZ is like not going to work? And like, it's like, come on, just calm down. Just calm down. I'm a, I have a great life. <laughs> I'm all, I'm happy. You, you know? got a, you got a full-time job. You, you have a, fucking, you have a case full of Baja Blast to your disposal. I know. I work fucking like 30 days a month and you know, I'm happy. All right. But you know, if the FGC dies, it's like, whatever. That sucks. Deadly Fruits asks, Ultra coming soon. Top players are saying who's good and what and whatnot. Is there any character you feel isn't on the radar? Uh, I think... I think, I think T-Hawk hasn't been on the radar. Even though he, he has, but he hasn't. Nobody's really put him up as top tier, which he probably isn't, but... I don't know. I feel like people aren't talking enough about him, in my opinion. I think he's kind of crazy, and he's definitely going to get toned down. Have, have people been talking about Rose? Yeah, people are saying Rose is number top five, which oh, okay. I don't. So I was about to say, I don't really get. Well, but, you, t you told me they buffed her back dash, right? No, they buffed her forward dash. I'm sorry, forward dash. So she can forward dash pressure a lot easier now. And she got all of her other buffs. She got, I guess. And other people got nerfed, which were her probably bad matchups. Kind of. Like, what are her bad matchups, though? Like, I don't now? think she had... Yeah. Anyone that knocks her down and then could vortex... Because she had really bad escape options, am I correct? She had, like, right? the best backdash. Yeah, but that was the only escape option, dude. She had no reversal. That's so good. That's A good like backdash? It. It, dude, you can just four-button tech it. You can just focus backdash. Oh, my God. I don't Beats know how... Selects. <laughs> You know how an option select works? Harrison, I'm not. If I don't you don't know hit somebody with the normal, stuff. another normal comes out. So this what you do bad. is you focus that normal, so that way you get hit by the normal and the option select doesn't come out. Oh my god, you're now far away. I know, I just blew your mind. Well, I don't know anything about that, Harrison. I'm not a shoot fighter player. No. <laughs> Want to tell you about the really specific situations where I can cross up people with Taskmaster, huh? In the corner. You can't do it on player one side. But player two side, if you're player one on the other side, and you can do it. Onward Estrada asks, how about the refs at the stations keep the scorecard on rounds, win, losses, and then reseed the top 32 based on those stats? It's really dumb. I think reseeding top 32 is fine. Only for region. Yeah, for... Even then, like, I, I've, I've been hypocritical in this regard because i've said that too like if fucking everyone's playing each other and they're all region based then then you probably should receive but at that point 
it's already a problem with seeding beforehand. The seeding at the start of the tournament should be correct. Oops. If it is correct, you won't have these problems later in the tournament. Like, you can't tell who's going to lose and who's going to win. You can't. But you can get a pretty good idea from the seeds who's going to do it. So seed accordingly. If it just happens that people play each other because all the good players lost and there's a whole crazy thing, then, you know, that's just how the tournament is. No one would complain about that. But when the seeding is done bad and the right people win and they still have to play people that they, you know, travel with or play every day with at a major, then the seeding beforehand was bad. So you shouldn't plan to fix shitty seeding. You should just seed correctly. Like, just do that and people won't care. And, you know, reseeding top 32 is just dumb. It just always will benefit someone over other people, you know? Even if you move it just for region. I think it's one step at a time. People obviously don't know how to seed, so reseeding a top 32 will help them not knowing how to seed. No. Yeah. It would just make more problems. Because, like, say say I have, from how the tournament was seeded, I have a good, good chance to make top 8 now. Because I looked at my top 32 bracket, and I'm like, okay, I can probably beat these players. And then it gets reseeded. Now I have to play fucking, like, all the top players or whatever. I'm going to be like, hey, what the fuck? They got easier matchups, but I didn't. Like, obviously, there might be a bias here. Like, I could say that as a player, and I could totally be correct. There's probably a bias. Because you reseeded it, and you introduced doubt into the tournament. If you just do it correctly at the start, there's no doubt. There's no saying, hey, there's no human element after everything's done. It's just how the tournament goes. Do you understand? And if people throw matches to try and influence that, then yes, that's wrong. That's why people get angry about it. Does that make sense? It makes sense. So if you just do it correctly, you don't have to fuck it up and further. Because if you try and reseed, it's inherently biased. Like, there's no person that reseeds the tournament and isn't biased in some way about it. It's just not possible. Unless you're going off a strict, fucking unbiased, driven into a stone tablet fucking standings, you know, that everyone agrees on then it's not going to be it. There's going to be some bias. And that some bias is why I introduced that. It's some. Just seed correctly. In my, opinion, in my opinion, the the perfect tournament is always going to be a round robin, which is never going to fucking happen in a major. And literally just putting everybody's name in a hat and just pulling them out. I I'm think seeding, if you're like, realistically speaking, seeding should not even be a, a thing. You should just fucking throw people in a bracket, and then that's it. That's the tournament. That's the way it should be. There should be no seeding, but obviously with money and other shit on the line, people people feel seeding is necessary. There should be seeding, though. I think they're uh, – that, it's – whatever. That's just Dumb. my opinion. That's my opinion. I know. That's just my there opinion. I, it's, never gonna, it's never going to happen. I know that. But in a perfect world, that's what a tournament should be. But again, it's never it. gonna happen. There's too much. Already... There's actually there's no money. I don't know why I'm saying there's money. There's no money. Like, but yeah, that's my opinion. Um, based Rambo asks, how do you think Red Focus and Ultra will change the way the game is played? I think it's. I'm. I've been saying this for a really long time. I think it's gonna be a lot more uh, aggressive and offensive game. I think it's the way it is. Things you make. I think it's a buff, well, as every system changes, a buff to a lot more aggressive. Like, if you are inherently aggressive, your character is going to get better because of it. But, on the other hand, if you were, like, if you excel at being defensive, like, this, for example, like Guile Rose, you now have an offensive tool as well. So, I believe it just benefits everyone, and certain characters are going to get the bigger benefit. Like, people have been harping about Yun a lot from IC. Like, Yun's red focus makes him really godlike or something. Um, but I think it's just going to make everyone more aggressive and give more people tools. Yeah. I know that's the most general statement I've ever said. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to end it on a boy named Rio. He's got a couple questions. Okay. Which is actually a good question. I want to I wanna know, too. 
Uh, do you know how Combo Fiend feels about this? Does he have any power to do anything? I mean, that's a pr I'd say that's a pretty reasonable question. Sir, uh, I, I haven't had the opportunity to ask him. I don't know if he would answer it. I mean, I, I would assume he would. I would think as a Capcom employee, he would not appreciate it. And of course, uh, Eric asked right below that, when, where is the settle Settlers of Catan meetup? Uh, we should do one at Major. We should do one at Evo. If you if you're in NorCal, then I can let you know. You just hit me up on Twitter and ask me. Can we do one and stream it? I'm always down for that, dude. You well, know I can I'm, do it you know in the summer. Down. I can do it in June, I guess. All right. Well, I, do you have anything else to end it on? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end the show specially. So yeah. If you, um. Uh... So today I like. I couldn't find my cat, and I thought she ran outside. And I was like, oh, man. So I was, like, outside for 15 minutes trying to find her. It's like, I guess she's gone. So I, like, went inside, and she was just laying down. Wow. Ow. Wow. <laughs> she's like, fuck you. She just scratched the shit. Uh... All right. Well, I guess it's going to be in the show. Thanks for tuning around for our, our rants, our thoughts on ECT that everybody's going to forget tomorrow anyway. I tell people watch again on YouTube tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, make sure you guys follow me at Harrison SBA. Make sure you Fonzo, follow Hanzo Gonzo at Hanzo Gonzo. Or not, and follow uh, twitter.com slash iplaywinner instead. You can also check us out facebook.com, facebook.com slash iplaywinner. Oh yeah, all the uh, links are down at the bottom right there for you guys. Uh, you guys can check us out on youtube.com. Make sure you guys subscribe to that. Go check out that uh, Dirty Paws versus Filipino match for uh, Alpha Clash. I think the uh, the Marvel matches should be up there too, so go and check those out. Uh, if you guys want to check out all of the past shows, if you guys want to watch me and Hanzo Gonzo play terrible Third Strike, you guys can go check out the uh, last episode. Go to iplaywinner.com, go to the podcast section, and you guys can watch or listen to every previous show in YouTube or MP3 format. Uh, I'm going to end the show a little bit uh, weirdly. Uh, this is funny personally to me, so uh, Hanzo, just I'll, I'll meet you anyway. So peace, guys. Arguing is some dipshit on Twitter. Are you? Yeah. I, you know, like, I, I don't know how I take seriously something like just stating my disappointment with the show. It was a prime opportunity to get your show some actual cred with us. You know what? First off, you can fucking take your cred and, and this. Like, I don't give a fuck because I'm all about the esports, right? Like, if you don't want to think that this show that's the longest-running fucking esports show that's had more champions and more fucking esports personalities on the show than you could even fucking shake a goddamn fight stick at, like, come on, dude. I don't... I actually don't give a fuck. And second of all, like... I know that there are, like, there is some truth to some of the shit that Triforce is saying, okay? I, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not dumb. Like, Triforce obviously has some issues with the management of Empire, okay? I'm also not a fucking idiot that a lot of people just don't like him, right? I've read plenty of shit that all came from R. Kappa and here and there and all this shit. But look... If I don't know the fucking truth, I'm not going to go balls deep into a guy just because some fucking dude on the internet said it was this way. If he's going to sit there and fucking defend himself and say, no, you know, I did not go to this fucking event. If he went and he said on my show that he didn't go, well, then great. He's a fucking liar. But I don't know. I can't call him out on that. I just think people have a really fucking stupid expectation of, like, what an interview can actually accomplish on a show like this, Slasher. As much as I would like to say I'm a master of mind control and I can get any fucking answer that people want to hear out of a certain individual, it's not that easy okay you're only going to have as good of an interview as what a person is going to say we did our best to try to at least even take into consideration some of the crazy bullshit that we had heard and incorporate it and find out but 
I actually found more holes in the fucking accusations than I did in what Triforce is saying. So understand, as a content creator, I wasn't fucking there. I wasn't in France. Slasher wasn't fucking in France. He doesn't know. So what the fuck do you expect us to do? I'm sorry, I can't pull some fucking unbelievable esports Illuminati f uh, fucking details uh, uh, and facts that, that happened because I wasn't fucking there. I just, I don't fucking get it, Slasher. And it is add-on. We do not need to prove any more fucking credibility to anybody on this show that we haven't done already. If you didn't like it before, you never are going to. So to think that we missed an opportunity here with Triforce after 45 minutes, that you didn't get here one thing, and now we are fucking for you, is not going to fly with me at all. So I am perfectly fine with how things went tonight. If you don't believe Triforce, don't believe them, and show proof otherwise, and you will have a fine fucking day. It does not impact you any more. It's like, I, right, you know, Slasher, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I, I can't give two fucks about a guy who wants to talk shit on a guy, but I don't necessarily agree or believe or based off the details or information that I have that, that like, that's warranted. So I'm the asshole. Fine. I'll be the fucking asshole today. All right. Good show.